Dear friends, welcome to your personalized podcast. Today, we will explore the complexities of building AI infrastructure, how designers can achieve simplicity in their work, and the potential pitfalls of relying on AI tools like GitHub's Copilot for coding. Stay tuned as we dive into these compelling topics. Why are data pipelines and inference presenting such significant challenges in the realm of AI infrastructure today? Well, the excitement around AI and machine learning is undeniable, and it's clear that many enterprises are moving beyond mere curiosity. Approximately 40% of enterprises have either deployed an AI program or are actively exploring one. This means they're facing tangible challenges like product development, team alignment, and market entry. But at the heart of these challenges lies a foundational issue. Building and maintaining the infrastructure that powers these AI programs. Imagine the ideal scenario for an enterprise. Having a robust AI system, powered by a sophisticated language model that runs smoothly, is cost-effective, and leverages a secure, proprietary dataset. But achieving this is far from simple. The core issue is the infrastructure needed to create and maintain data pipelines and manage inference processes, where models process data to produce results. Enterprises face unique challenges compared to startups due to organizational structures, regulatory requirements, and customer expectations. A well-functioning data pipeline can offer a competitive edge, but is slow to evolve due to the associated risks. This situation mirrors the early days of DevOps, where continuous integration and continuous delivery, CICD, were the goals. Today, data pipelines are reaching their own DevOps moment, emphasizing continuous improvement and integration. Creating and refining high-quality datasets and models is a strategic advantage. As AI programs run data jobs through their models, the outputs improve in quality and power. However, setting up these complex systems requires dedicated teams and resources. Gartner notes that 87% of mature organizations have dedicated AI teams. These projects aren't accidental. They require deliberate effort and cannot be bought off the shelf. A crucial aspect is maintaining data privacy and security. Without a proper data pipeline, enterprises risk privacy leaks, subpar performance, and high costs from retraining models on poor quality data. The data pipeline must be a continuous process, beginning with the launch of a language model and requiring ongoing iteration and monitoring. Beyond creating the pipeline, enterprises face the challenge of running inference securely and at scale. High-powered AI hardware is costly and rare. Organizations typically adopt one of four hosting models for inference. Hosted inference via API on-device edge hosting, on-premise data centers, or off-premise cloud hosting via third-party data centers. Each has its pros and cons, from cost and complexity to security and performance. Given these challenges, enterprises often follow discrete phases in their AI journey. They start with cloud providers for serious experimentation, then scale solutions, optimize costs, and eventually consider hosting their own models internally. The decision to host internally or continue with third-party solutions depends on specific needs and use cases. For instance, Microsoft reports that over 53,000 organizations use its AI offerings via Azure. Enterprises begin by testing valuable use cases with cloud providers before considering the costs and benefits of internal hosting. Over time, they may invest in tools for pre-training datasets and model evaluation, moving towards configurations that balance operational and financial feasibility. In conclusion, mastering AI infrastructure involves continuous improvement strategic investments, and a nuanced understanding of enterprise needs. The journey may differ for each organization, but the goal remains the same, to leverage AI for a competitive advantage while managing costs and maintaining security.
Now that we've discussed the challenges of AI infrastructure, let's explore how designers can achieve simplicity in their work by balancing functionality with an uncomplicated user experience. How can designers achieve simplicity in their work? When we talk about design, simplicity often stands out as a key goal. Imagine you're creating a new app. You want it to be user-friendly, visually appealing, and efficient. But with so many features to consider, it can quickly become overwhelming. Designers frequently face the challenge of balancing comprehensive functionality with an uncomplicated user experience. Digital spaces might seem limitless, allowing us to add as many features as we want. However, there is a significant limit to how much the human brain can process. Simplicity requires thoughtful consideration. It's not just about how a product looks, but also how it works and performs. For instance, a beautifully designed app that takes too long to load isn't truly simple for the user. One of the key principles in achieving simplicity is thoughtful reduction. This means carefully deciding what to remove rather than what to add. John Maida, in his book Laws of Simplicity, emphasizes this by saying that when in doubt, you should remove elements and just be cautious about what you remove. For example, Google Search, when it first launched, was so simple and efficient that it redefined user expectations. Over time, even as Google's range of services expanded, its core search function remained straightforward. Another crucial aspect is the gradual revelation of complexity. Think about video games. They often start with simple tutorials that progressively introduce more complex mechanics. This approach can be applied to digital products as well. By revealing features contextually and gradually, users can learn and adapt without feeling overwhelmed. Designers sometimes confuse simplicity with minimalism, but they are not the same. Minimalism is about reducing elements, while simplicity is about coherence and making things understandable. An inconsistent icon or a misplaced menu item can disrupt the user experience more than a multi-step task. Coherence ensures that even a robust product feels simple and intuitive. Consider the example of a B2B dashboard. It might be packed with features, but if each element is consistent and logically placed, it can still offer a simple user experience. This is why starting with the most important problem and finding the simplest solution is essential. Once the core functionality is perfected, additional features can be built around it. Familiarity is another key to simplicity. When users encounter something new, it helps if it feels somewhat familiar. This reduces the cognitive load and makes the interaction smoother. For instance, when adding a new feature, design it in a way that aligns with what users already know or have seen before. Effective writing also plays a significant role in simplicity. Clear, concise headings and calls to action can greatly enhance user comprehension. If something is difficult to explain in simple terms, it's likely too complex and needs rethinking. Simplicity isn't just about the product itself, but extends to the design process and collaboration. A messy team is unlikely to produce a simple product. Organized files, clear communication, and efficient meetings all contribute to a simpler design process. Ultimately, simplicity in design is about making thoughtful choices that prioritize the user's experience. It's about finding the essence of what's necessary and ensuring everything aligns to serve that purpose. Now, let's turn our attention to how AI tools like GitHub's Copilot might impact the fundamental skills of programmers. Have you ever wondered if the rise of AI tools like GitHub's Copilot might actually be making programmers worse at their jobs? Over recent years, the advent of AI-driven tools has been seen as a game-changer for programming. These tools can generate code, suggest solutions, and even troubleshoot issues in real time. 
potentially saving developers a lot of time. But there's a growing concern that these benefits come with significant drawbacks, particularly when it comes to the quality and skill set of programmers. One of the biggest risks is the erosion of fundamental programming skills. Traditionally, learning to code meant solving problems hands-on, debugging, and understanding how code works at various levels, from algorithms to low-level implementation details. But with AI assistance, developers can bypass these crucial steps. Instead of deeply understanding algorithms or learning how to write efficient loops and recursion, they might simply accept auto-generated code snippets. Over time, this could lead to developers who can't solve problems on their own because they never fully developed the necessary problem-solving and critical thinking skills. Another issue is the over-reliance on auto-generated code. With tools like Copilot, developers can quickly produce working code without fully understanding its mechanics. This leads to code dependency, where developers lean too heavily on AI-generated solutions without properly checking for correctness, efficiency, or maintainability. Auto-generated code may not always be the optimal solution for a specific problem. Without proper vetting, programmers might accept inefficient, buggy, or insecure code that works initially but causes problems down the line. This reduces the incentive to review or refactor the code, which could harm the code base and reduce team productivity over time. There's also a concern about the lack of ownership and responsibility. When developers write every line of code manually, they take full responsibility for its behavior, whether it's functional, secure, or efficient. But when AI generates significant portions of code, it's easy to shift that sense of responsibility onto the AI assistant. This lack of ownership can lead to complacency with developers thinking, the AI generated it, so it must be correct. But AI-generated code isn't immune to errors, bugs, or security vulnerabilities. Ultimately, it's the developer's job to review, understand, and refine the code. But with the convenience of tools like Copilot, that diligence might fade. Another significant point is the reduction in learning opportunities. One crucial aspect of becoming a great programmer is the continuous learning process. Every bug encountered, every design decision made, and every algorithm researched is an opportunity to learn something new. However, by providing quick solutions, Copilot might shortcut the learning process, giving developers answers without requiring them to dig deeper into why certain solutions work or don't work. This convenience reduces the number of learning experiences that contribute to long-term skill development. Programming is as much about creativity as it is about logic. Skilled programmers approach problems from multiple angles and come up with various solutions, weighing the pros and cons of each. AI-driven tools can limit this exploration by offering suggestions based on existing code or patterns, potentially stifling creative and innovative thinking. While Copilot can suggest what works, it may also promote more conventional patterns, reducing out-of-the-box thinking. AI-driven tools also create a dependency on proprietary platforms like GitHub Copilot, as developers rely more on these tools to generate, troubleshoot, or optimize their code, they become increasingly dependent on them. This can be problematic when the tools fail, change their terms of service, or become too expensive. This dependency can also isolate developers from broader programming communities and open source tools that encourage peer collaboration and knowledge sharing, further hindering skill growth. Perhaps the most concerning effect of AI code generation is the false sense of expertise it can create. A developer might feel proficient because they can quickly generate working code with the help of Copilot, even if they don't fully understand it. This can be particularly dangerous in more complex areas of software engineering, like performance optimization or security, where a deeper understanding of the code is critical. Without foundational knowledge, developers can make costly mistakes. In essence, if you don't understand the code, how you got there, 
or how to solve the problem yourself. Relying on an AI to provide answers isn't going to make you a better programmer. It makes you reliant on the AI, limiting your ability to do anything the AI can't already do. Building robust AI systems and maintaining simplicity in design are crucial, while over-reliance on AI tools like GitHub's Copilot can hinder programmers' skills. Stay tuned for more updates. Dear friends,